was the city's first apartment building of any note, home to a parade of brilliant artists, a horrifying vision of the occult, and an all too real tragedy. A building like no other, the Dakota is New York's most exclusive address. When the Dakota opened its doors in 1884, every one of its apartments, 65 in all, were rented. A remarkable fact given that the Upper West Side was almost virgin territory. The name Dakota was chosen by the building's developer, Edward Clark, because it was so far from the bustle of Lower Manhattan that it could just as easily have been on the frontier. Clark, heir to the singer's sewing machine fortune, spared no expense. No two apartments were the same, although each was palatial with high ceilings and floors inlaid with marble, mahogany, and cherry. Despite its opulence, rents were modest, and after World War II, the building was even rent-controlled, all of which made it the perfect home for New York's artistic set. Boris Karloff, Judy Garland, Leonard Bernstein, Lauren Bacall, Roberta Flack, Jack Lemmon, Gilda Radner, and most famously, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, who bought their seventh floor apartment in 1973. It was here, at the Dakota, that Lennon spent his house husband years, raising his son Sean, happily removed from the public spotlight, and here that he was murdered, just outside the ornate entrance by a crazed fan in December of 1980. One celebrity who never lived at the Dakota is Mia Farrow, Although her character, Rosemary Woodhouse, was drugged, had sex with a demon, and gave birth to the devil's spawn in one of its apartments in Roman Polanski's chilling 1968 classic, Rosemary's Baby. In recent years, the Dakota has become one of the most sought after addresses in New York City. But money and fame are no guarantee of admittance. Madonna, Billy Joel, Cher, and Alex Rodriguez all have been rejected. In 2005, famed documentary filmmaker Albert Mazels sought to sell his apartment to Melanie Griffith and Antonio Banderas, but the board said no. Mazels, who along with his brother David made such classic films as Gimme Shelter and Grey Gardens, lamented, what's so shocking is that the building is losing its touch with interesting people. More and more they're moving away from creative people and going toward people who just have the money a lament that could easily be made for all of New York. <laughs>